Use the program box. You need to remove the fan wire, as so. Keep in mind where things are pointed. You want to have the metal facing the fan. Load your software by clicking on that application. Make sure your radio is on because you don't want your truck to take off and power on the truck. It'll say connecting PC and then at that point your software should show that the interface is now changing. In fact, we're going to move to that right now. As you can see, the first thing I did was I upgraded the firmware on the ESC for both my truck and my son's. I did this because the battery life was ridiculously bad on Creighton's. It takes a couple minutes, but I, but I sped this up a bit. Now you might notice that in this particular video, I updated the program box and not the ESC. In fact, let's do that now. As you can see, I have sped up the video quite a bit, just because it does take a little bit of time. Once the ESC is finished, we can move on to the features, and here they are, but they operate the same way. If you want to change, just click where it says device, and it gives you the choice between ESC or program box. Now let's take a look at some of your options here. So the LiPo cutoff by default is 3.5 volts, which is fine. I've seen them as low as 3, I think 3 is way too low, and I've seen them as high as 3.7, which is way too high. So. Pick what you want. I didn't mess with anything else here because I'm not comfortable enough with it. Once you're done, disconnect your program box and reattach your fan in the correct orientation and then turn off your car, turn it back on, and you are good to go.